this is Jerrica. I want to do a video on how to curl synthetic hair because I have a lot of people that ask me, you know, how do you curl your synthetic wigs, you know, and there's just one little thing that can help you curl your wigs. This is the kinky straight wig that I did a video on like two or three weeks ago. It's the same wig. It's still holding up pretty well, but I just decided to curl it because, you know, I like straight hair, but sometimes, you know, I like to get curly hair. I haven't tried to re-straighten this wig or anything like that. Um, if I wanted to, I would probably just dip it in hot water or something of the nature or just try and straighten it. But um, I do love the curly look, so I want to show you guys exactly how I got this look and the secret that you need to do in order for your curls to actually stick. So if you would like to see how I get curls in my synthetic wigs, then keep watching. Okay, so what I did was I got my one, I think this is a one inch flat uh, curling iron. It's just a one inch regular ceramic curling iron. Um, it's by Andis, I think that's how you say it, like the same people that make the little um, clippers and stuff for men. So this is just what it is, just regular inch, one inch flat iron and I got it set at the highest setting. I know it's not in focus but it's on 20. I don't know what degree that is, I have no idea but I put it on the highest degree because I want to make sure that it actually curls. And um, I'm going to show you what the curls come out like when you do um, do the secret or if you don't. So I'm just going to pick this little piece right here because I don't want it to be a big piece um you know make sure you get your straight piece of hair and um you can curl it however you want you know you can do wand curls with a regular curl iron too oops but yeah just go around okay and you just hold it here for however long you desire this part is up, completely up to you so we're just gonna wait. All right, now if you just take it out, see look, this is how it looks. Like, this is all you did, absolutely nothing. So that's why people will be like, oh, curl, synthetic hair doesn't curl. And you know, and it's not if you do that. It's not going to curl, it looks retarded. You know, it just, it looks flat and ugly and like, I don't know, it just looks like the piece of hair is on drugs. So, if you want it to curl, you have to actually hold the curl when you do that. Because it's synthetic hair, I mean this is a human, this is a blend is what they call it for this wig, but it's still synthetic hair. And the, fut the Futura or whatever type of synthetic hair, the Conecalon hair, all that hair curls the same if it's heat resistant. Alright, so we're going to try this again, I'm going to show you the right way to do it this time. You know, get your curl however you want it, curl it. Hold it there for as long, I mean I wouldn't leave it there for like a minute, well maybe a minute or two is probably long, because this is not human hair so it takes a little bit longer, because if this was human hair I probably would have already let it go by now, because it doesn't take long for human hair to curl. So you're just going to leave it on like this, you know let it sit, alright and now the secret to getting your curl to stick, um, you want to turn your curling iron upside down, or have your hand here, preferably have a glove you guys, because this does get hot. Uh, and just let it go slowly and while it's still hot get a bobby pin or something that can hold your curl you know roll it up into a little curl like this put your bobby pin open it and just put your bobby pin on the hair if you guys can see how I did that you can also get a second one too if you want more secure I get a second one for the sake of this video Alright, so it's gonna just look like this. Just a little pin curl. And you wanna leave it there for at least five minutes because you don't wanna take this this curl down until it is completely cooled off. If you take it down while it's hot, it's gonna look flat and ugly and limp like it did at the beginning. So that's exactly how you do it. That's this is how you curl synthetic hair, you guys. Synthetic hair can curl, and people be like, you know, it says I can go up to 350 to 400 degrees, and I try and curl my hair and it doesn't curl. That is why, because you're just curling it like human hair and letting go, and you're like, ew, this is ugly. You can't do synthetic hair like that. Synthetic hair is not human hair. There's a difference. So that is that. So while that one, um, you know, cools off, I'm going to do another one. I'm going to show you one more time how to do it. So we're going to get your hair, put it through, twirl it. I always make sure the end is like right here so we won't have a frayed end. But then you curl it and you leave it on here for a bit. I'm sorry if this if I'm not in focus. I can't tell if my glasses are not on. 
Um, but yeah, you're just gonna, you know, do that. And then again, the secret is, you know, if you curl with one hand, I don't know which hand, I'm right-handed, so I curl with my right hand. But you're just gonna turn it upside down, open your hand to catch it, and slowly let it go. Okay, so this one kind of unraveled, but it's okay, you can still save it. If you just roll it back up while it's hot, and then clip it. See, that's all you have to do. Clip it twice. All right, and it's gonna be a little pin curl like that. And you let it sit, you go, you do the rest of your head. And then once you're done with your whole head, it's probably when I would take it down, that's probably the best. But since my hair is already curled, I'm not going to do that. So um, once I think that this is cool, I will come back to you guys and I'll take it down and show you how it looks. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and take down this curl, the first one. It's not hot anymore. I would probably wait a lot longer if I was doing this, you guys, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna take it out. Okay. And see, there you go. You have a curl. A beautiful little curl. See, look. It's a perfect little spiral curl. And it's just. See? That is how you curl synthetic hair. You have to, you know, this other one. I'm just gonna take it down. It's probably not gonna be curled because I didn't leave it long enough, but. Yeah, whatever. It curled a little bit. Oh, it did curl. Huh. See, this is how you get these are the two that I just did. You guys can see these. And that is how you curl synthetic hair, you guys. That's how I did my entire head. You know, it took me a while to do, but you know, I mean they don't have to be that small. They can be a lot bigger if you want bigger curls. But that's how I do it. And I'm sure it's the same. I haven't tried it with the wand, the wand way with wand curls because you could do wand curls with synthetic hair too you know you just um, wrap it around the barrel like you normally would with wand curls and you'll have to catch it still and um, you know do what I just showed you how to do as if you were doing a spiral um, I haven't tried that yet though so once I try that and I can master it then I'll do a video on how to do wand curls on synthetic hair but that's how I got this big beautiful curliness so if this video was helpful for you, I want you guys to comment below and let me know. Also, you guys, if you want to curl synthetic hair, if you don't want to do that, you could just flexi rod your wig and dip it in some hot, boiling hot water and let it sit overnight and let it dry completely and then take out your rollers. That's also another way you can curl synthetic hair. But, you know, sometimes you just want to use your spiral curling flat iron like I just did and, you know, make some more romantic looking curls. So, um, then I, I just figure combed them out and made them and that's how I got, you know, fluffy and big like this. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day.